Uh, my name is Noel Marin. I'm a uh, board member for Next Tech Hawaii. Uh, welcome to our fish tank design competition open house. Uh, we are a nonprofit dedicated to creating STEM career readiness uh, for our youth here in Hawaii, and we provide year round tuition free project and place based learning programs. Uh, we also work to create a community where our youth have the opportunity to learn from local experts and leaders and where mentoring relationships are, are created and can guide career paths and even translate into jobs. Uh, we are powered by the generosity of our volunteers. So we have Next Tech uh, alumni, parents, teachers, local business and government leaders um, who contribute time, their valuable time to help us deliver our programs. Special thanks to our board members, several of whom are here today, uh, Gail Takaki, uh, Doug Adams, Lisa Mason, Renee Ishisaka, Shannon Tamimi, uh, also our program manager, Maria uh, Gakula. And we also have a, a list of advisors, including uh, Jake Al, who's with us today. Uh, of course, uh, we could not deliver our programs without the financial support from our sponsors. So uh, mahalo to uh, Hawaii Community Foundation and also the Koi Pond Initiative for their commitment and persistent support. Uh, what is Fish Tank? So it's not about building tanks for fish. This is a STEM competition that offers our uh, Big Island, Hawaii Island students, grades 6 to 12, uh, with the opportunity to work in teams to come up with solution ideas to our local problems. Uh, Maria will be sharing details about this uh, later in the program. Um, but I'd like to uh, share with you the theme, the theme for, for this year's competition, and that is sustainability. Uh, for this event, our teams will have the opportunity to work on solutions that can help Hawaii improve its environment, uh, the well-being of its people, the economy, and also the planet. And they will also be introduced to the uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, uh, or you'll hear, that, uh, hear this referred to as the SDGs. Uh, these have been around since uh, 2015, and they're represented by several goals designed to improve the quality of life of people around the globe, and also ensure that our planet uh, remains livable for future generations. During this competition, our students will have the opportunity to learn about these goals. They'll also be able to connect with, connect one or many of the, these goals with the solutions that they come up with. I know that some of you may have some questions about uh, what these goals are, and I'd like to have a show, a short video uh, to review them. UN Sustainable Development Goals are a universal call to action that unites 193 countries around the world. If these global goals are fulfilled by 2030, life on Earth will be better for everyone. So what are these goals? Eliminate poverty in all its forms. No hunger. Everyone should have safe, nutritious, and sufficient food. Everyone has equal access to health care, thus ensuring our well-being and a healthy life. Equal access to a quality education. Ensure gender equality where women and girls have the same opportunities as men and boys. By achieving these goals, each member of our society will be equal, safe, and happy. UN Global Goals also include access to safe drinking water and sanitation, access to clean energy that is safe for people and the environment, sustainable and stable economic growth, everyone has a decent job, strong infrastructure and the support of innovations, lower inequality within and among countries, cities and settlements be developed without damaging the environment and people, Achieving these goals will result in the well-being of people and our planet. We can further take care of our environment with the following goals. Sustainable and safe production and consumption of products. Take urgent measures to reduce climate change and its impact. Ensure the sustainable use and protection of ocean and sea resources. Restore and protect Earth's ecosystems. By achieving these goals, we will form a society where strong institutions ensure peace and justice. It is important for everyone to be involved and to build partnerships for achieving sustainable development goals. You are part of this process. Demand the implementation of these goals. Take the lead and share information with your friends. I want to uh, share uh, the program for today. It'll just be a brief slide here give you an idea of what we're going to be presenting. 
So immediately after this, we're going to uh, take a peek into Hawaii Island sustainability. We'll have a, we have a, our uh, guest, uh, Doug Adams, who will be uh, socializing that. We'll have a workshop, Problem Solving for Sustainability. Uh, it'll then, we'll then follow with uh, uh, competition details for fish tanks. So this is where we'll get an idea of the schedule, uh, the mechanics, the prizes, how that whole system is going to work. And then we'll have some time at the end for Q&A. So parents and students who are curious about uh, the program would like to apply, would like to learn more, uh, are welcome to, uh, to stay on for that program Q&A. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We're excited about our third year of Fish Tank and we grow um, bigger and we recently as a group get better at this. So welcome. Today we're going to be focusing on sustainability and um, a key focus would be what's going on on this island. I'm so happy to introduce Doug Adams. Gail, thank you so much for uh, that introduction and for your leadership. Um, you and Noel really have taken Next Tech Hawaii and we are doing things that there's no way that we necessarily thought that we would be having the impact that um, this organization is getting to have and, and serving the uh, students uh, and the children up here um, in uh, on the island of Hawaii, across the island. It's really been just a terrific opportunity for me to be able to engage with what you all are doing. And, and I'm very much appreciative of the, the opportunity here as well. Uh, let me um, let me provide a few words briefly on sustainability. First of all, I'll start with our, our mayor, Mayor Mitch Roth, and his definition. So, so Mitch's definition of sustainability stems from the idea of making sure that we provide quality of life uh, for the residents of our island. So when he talks about it, he talks about our keiki being able to raise their keiki and their keiki being able to raise their keiki. So generational issues, making sure that that there are good paying jobs, making sure that we have um, a standard of living uh, that continues to be supportive of the kind of life that we know that we can have here, plus a cost of living um, that allows for that quality of life. Um, and, and so that's that's kind of Mitch's uh, view. Um, I'd also move on from that and, and talk a little bit about some listening sessions that when we came into office in December, 2020, um, Within the first 100 days, the, the mayor had his sustainability summit. And as a part of that sustainability summit, many of which um, the folks here participated and supported, as a part of the prep for that, I was able to go around with some of our AmeriCorps VISTAs, young folks that are part of the Volunteers and Service to America program. And we went to 14 different communities around the island. And we asked two basic questions having to do with sustainability. Um, one being, what is sustainability to you? And being, um, what's the first thing you would um, fix if you had the ability to do that uh, in a sustainability way? And I just want to share with you some of the comments that came from members of our community that were associated with that. Uh, and as you can imagine, um, it was, it was interesting to me to see this, but um, not necessarily surprising. We have a, we have a large island, 4,028 square miles of Ina, um, not counting the ocean around it as well. And of course, as a result, folks have different communities that they live in with different concerns and uh, different interests. And as a result of that, there are different focus areas that uh, members of these communities might have, and we heard some of those. So in the listening sessions across the board, we heard folks talk about community. We heard folks talk about food, water, land, and the fact that we're on an island. And so that all provided a very important um, kind of foundation for our considerations of what sustainability are here on Hawaii Island. But then we also heard folks talk about, and in different areas with different levels of um, importance, disaster preparedness, energy concerns, agriculture, 
and food security, broadband infrastructure. Um, as you remember, the beginning of the second year of the uh, COVID pandemic, um, and folks had a lot of folks had had to stay at home. Uh, many of you probably had to as well. And the need for a robust broadband infrastructure, something that existed in some areas on the island, but not in a lot of other areas. So important. Workforce development considerations, education, transportation, creative arts, and, and climate considerations, climate change in particular. All of these were areas that in different parts of our island, um, different members of the community, or different communities had um, rank these um, in importance. Um, I, let me also then from this point focus on something that when we think about sustainability, we think about climate change and the need for climate mitigation and adaptation measures. And it's a key piece of it. You may have noticed within the in the video when they talk about the United Nations sustainable sustainable development goals. Climate was but one of those goals, right? The, the folks, the, the, the impact of working on those were but one of the goals. Um, a very important one. We understand that, that the threat is a, a major threat for us. Some folks call it existential, meaning it can affect um, the future of our species and of all species on the, on the, not just on the island, but in the globe. And so our ability to work on those issues is really going to be paramount to our ability to have any kind of future, frankly, for you all to have any kind of future. Um, but to do that, we have to make sure that we are also making sure that our standard of living, our quality of life, and our cost of living, which is a major impact here on this island, that we're taking care of those things as we also take care of mitigation and the adaptation measures to try and work our way back to a climate that is supportable of life on earth. So energy is a key piece of this for us. So we talk about energy on this island as an area that we actually have been blessed um, with opportunities. Something that can be renewable, green, affordable, and reliable. We have the ability to do that here on the island. We are fortunate to have that. And so our ability to focus on that will be a big help for other areas um, on the island, other interest and focus areas. Food security is another piece of what's important here. I would just mention a few weeks ago, or maybe within the last couple of weeks, someone asked me a question about what do I worry about the most? What's the thing that that I get concerned about the most, perhaps even lose sleep about. And I thought about that, and I thought I might be thinking about climate, or I thought I might think about um, education. Ultimately, uh, it came down to food security. The fact is, is that we have about a week's worth of food on the island. Our ability to make sure that we continue to provide food um, for 200,000 residents plus the number of visitors that we have on the island is um, absolutely paramount. And we have the ability to grow food to support a large portion of our population, yet we continue to import 90% of our food to the state and to the island. So we're working very hard within the department um, and within the county and within the agricultural ecosystem to change that at a point where we need to, where we can in fact say that we have a secure food system for, um, for us, for you, for your children, ultimately uh, making sure that we can do that. And then we also have cultural touchstones that are important when we think about sustainability here. Um, it's important to recognize that we have an example of uh, literacy on this island um, that sometimes history doesn't necessarily, unless you know the history, it doesn't necessarily come through because we have some um, difficulty with high school graduation rates um, and where we are in our reading skills. But the, the cultural tradition here is one of a literate people. We, we had the highest literacy rate 
in the mid 1800s of any population on earth, any nation on earth uh, was here in the kingdom of Hawaii, 90% um, literacy. That speaks to the creativity that exists here, the folks that can be creative. And we see that as a way forward for us, um, both in our economy, but maybe more importantly, in the passions that people will follow, the work that they can do. In addition, we know that we are a people of voyaging, of exploration. It's tied to the, um, the acronym, um, right? Science, technology, engineering, and math. But we also know that that the arts are a part of that. So you hear STEAM. All of those areas are important areas for our ability to have the kind of life that we need, we want to have for both you and for your children and their children as we move forward as, as a society. And then also the fact that we understand there's a culture here that understands systems. If you think about the Aupua system, of not just agriculture, but of how to sustain the use of water, the use of land, the sharing of products that are part of that system that talks to how to be sustainable. And to be sustainable, you have to understand how systems work. Um, and so that those traditions are part of the culture that exists here. Um, and it's, I, I just wanna reflect on that just so that we remember that these are part of who we are um, as a society, as a culture and island. Finally, I would uh, mention again the UN Sustainable Development Goals. I heard someone talk uh, recently in a presentation about how we have the tendency to deconstruct and to some degree goals are deconstructing the issues that we have about sustainability. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it allows us to break things down and, and then be able to examine them. But I would encourage you to go through the process of looking at sustainability in your lives and in the problem identifications that you'll go through, that we all need to remember that we're trying to put things together, right? It is about integration. It is about understanding the whole system, so the holistic nature that is part of the definition of sustainability. I just mentioned systems. systems is so important. The network effects that are associated with systems, both internal and external, making sure that you're aware of those when you're looking at both problem identification as well as solution sets for those problems. And then finally here, anything having to do with systems ultimately have to do with relationships, right? Our culture is about relationships. Systems are about relationships. It's about relationships among things. It's about relationships among people. And all of those tie together in a holistic view of the systems that we have available to us on this island that we need to continue to work on. We know that we don't have perfection here. That probably goes without saying. The key is, is that there is work to be done. You're going to do it. And if you're going to be doing it, remember always, imagination is what separates us from other species. Our ability to imagine, to see into the future, to see things to be different than they are today. I would, uh, I have, uh, finally, I, I heard someone, Elizabeth Gilbert, who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, talk about passion and how important passion is moving forward. But there are times when we're not sure what our passions are. And for Elizabeth, it was more important that we use two other human traits, the trait of perseverance, being diligent, and the, the trait of curiosity. It is our curiosity that separates us, that allows us to move forward, figure things out, find new things, Think about things that haven't been thought about before. Be curious, be imaginative, and you will find a passion um, for creating the kind of life that is sustainable here on the island of Hawaii. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for the work that you are interested in doing and that you will do. And um, I wish you the best of luck. Aloha.